guys, how are you? I missed filming anything for this week's vlog yesterday. It is Friday, September 15th, and I don't know, the day just got away from me. I don't know, Thursday just, yeah, has been and gone. I don't know! Um, I've been to the gym, obviously, this morning. Um, I'm home right now watching a live broadcast by Tracy Bautista. She's just about at the end. A uh, very inspiring artist. If you don't know who she is, I will link, um, try to link her website in the description below and um, you guys can look her up. She's got a lot of really great classes. She actually is one of my first teachers in mixed media, so yeah, I really admire her and her work. Um, and it's just, you know, it's been a couple of weeks of, I don't know, uh, Today, the September um, edition of Explorations of Me went live on YouTube, and evidently the way I set, explained the prompt and what I thought of the prompt was offensive to at least one person in an extreme way, and I don't know. I, I don't know. So initially I responded to the comment, and then I thought better of that, and I deleted it. I did put a pinned comment at the bo at the um, underneath the video. Um, I didn't intend it to offend anyone. I filmed before. Yes, it was the end of August, but it was before I knew um, the effects of Hurricane Harvey, and I didn't know anything about Irma at that time. Um, and I everything I said was in reference to my own life, and I never intend to offend. Um, that doesn't mean I never do. I do. I'm human. Uh, I'm not perfect. And I don't try to be. And I don't try to tell you that I am. Uh, but when I do make a mistake, I own it. And I, you know, and if I offended, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Um, and if it's extremely offensive, I may have to stop all the comments. And if it's really bad, I might have to just take the video off. I don't know. So we'll see. Or edit that last part out of the video out and reload it. I don't know. So um, that's it for right now. I am going to take a shower and try to do some art and try to, I don't know, get back in a positive mood or positive rate. I don't know. All right, I'll be back. It's still Friday and I have been putting together my little sewing machine table extension for my mixed media machine that I do the art sewing on and I'm loving it. I made my own table because nobody made a table I could find that would fit this little Janome machine. So I went to my local tap plastic store and had them cut some pieces and then I put them together and yeah, it's working great. So anyway, I'm also going to film a fun experiment video. Yes, that's paint on the floor. So we're going to do sort of an extreme mixed media, no, an extreme abstract painting. I have no idea if it's going to work. It might, but it might be really messy. We're going to find out. <laughs> All right. I'm going to film a little bit of this for the uh, vlog, and um, the rest of it will be in a tutorial that probably won't air until April, but you'll get the idea. All right. I'll be back. It is Saturday, September, I don't know, what is it, the 16th? I think so. This is our toe painting that we did. It's all done and dry. It's been hanging up since last night. 
I really love the way it turned out. It's too funny. I really, really love it. Anyway, the video for that is coming soon. I really did paint it with my toes. Wait until you see. Part of the video is filmed with my phone and part is filled with my camera because I forgot to turn the camera on. I was having so much fun. So forgive me if there's uh, some quality issues. And I've spent a lot of the weekend playing with my little Janome mixed media sewing machine and I put a free motion embroidery foot on it and I made this little a little table extension and I've been making working on everything from simple shapes and words to more complicated eyeball actually I think it goes that way and arrows and look at these girls and I, you know, I did them without lifting the needle up and cutting the thread. This is all in one, one continuous line. Um, words, flowers, like all kinds. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, and there's a, a name for drawing like this where you don't lift your pen up on the paper and you just keep drawing. And I can't think of what it is right now. Maybe somebody, one of you will remember and you can put it in the comments. But it's the same, for me, it's the same principle. Once I get started with the stitching, I don't stop stitching and cut the thread. I just keep going and just keep going. Um, just like when you do that style of drawing, whose name I can't remember. So I have a lot more pieces of canvas um, torn into bits over here. So I'm going to be stitching a whole bunch of them and probably listing some of these for sale in the Etsy shop. Um, so there are, yeah, they're a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, doing a few random things around the house, but that's it today. Did you, did you hear my knee pop? <laughs> that, ah, that didn't feel good. All right, that's it for today. I will be back tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow, but it's Sunday. We're just, it's just a quiet weekend at home. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it's Sunday, September 17th, I think. We've spent the morning doing laundry, dishes, you know, household chores. Hubby is in the process of rehanging our drapery rods and we're gonna put the curtains back up in the master bedroom, which is the one thing in there we haven't done yet. So we're gonna get... It's Monday, September 18th. I'm on the treadmill, but I'm not at the gym. So a friend of ours had, a little while back his wife passed away. Lou is a very sweet person and Art is also a very sweet guy. And he asked my husband recently if he knew anybody who might like Lou's old treadmill. And Bob said, uh, yeah, Gina might like it. <laughs> so he gave me Lou's old treadmill. So we're here out in the garage and I'm getting my steps in. I like not having to get up and go drive to the gym. I gotta say that's pretty attractive. So we're gonna give it a try. I'll be back. Hey guys, so we are out running errands. I got off the treadmill and um, there was a kind of a burning smell, a hot, I think the treadmill had been sitting for a long time and needed some oiling, so I got off of it and um, did that and I um, put the bed of the treadmill up because it's a folding one so that it could cool off and uh, we'll see what happens to, with it tomorrow. And um, now I'm out running errands and getting parts for, I'm going to straighten the camera a little bit, you're a little crooked, well I guess it doesn't matter. I'm getting, getting parts for some upcoming videos and um, going back to the plastic store, Tap Plastics, because you know, I like that place. I needed a couple more things and I've got to go to the hardware store and I've got to go to the grocery store. We're out of like, I think the only fresh fruit or vegetables or anything that we have is one red onion and a half of a flat of figs. I like figs. Um, I don't think we have anything else that's fresh and we have nothing that's green. So I need to do that. I don't 
I'm going to try to get some filming done this afternoon too. I don't know, we'll see. Typical Monday. Lots to do, but I don't know where to get started. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is still Monday, the 18th of September, and I've been working on this today. It's not quite dry, but it's dry enough that I need to add more epoxy to it. Now, back in my, hmm, what do you call them, artist cooperative shop days, you know those little shops where a bunch of artists get together and you rent a booth space and you sell stuff? Yeah, I did one of those for years. I worked there as a cashier and I had a booth. Anyway, back in those days, I used to make a lot of like candy dishes and stuff out of seashells. I did it a lot. I saw a um, Instagram post by Green Leaf Blue, I believe is the name. Um, I will try to link them below where they and I'm sure they just did it for Instagram. But it was just something that I went, ooh, ah. <laughs> they make handmade watercolors. And they showed some of their newest, latest watercolors um, displayed on a seashell. And that's why I'm saying I went, ooh, ah. Um, I really liked the way it looked. And so I am working on just a little like watercolor palette um, made out of seashells. That's, you know, I'm sure that well, little 2B6000 is dead. Um, I don't, <laughs> I don't know that it's going to be, you know, super useful. I don't really need it. I just thought it would be fun to look at on my desk, even if I never actually use the paints in it. Um, and when I did the candy dishes, this is exactly what I did. I put some E6000 and did a base glue of the shell arrangement that I would want. And then when it was mostly dry, went back in, found the weak spots where things weren't quite as glued together as I wanted them to be, and squirt some more glue in then. Now the E6000 adhesive takes a while to dry. Um, let's see, I think we need some more glue here. Um, I just bought some random shells from the craft shop. Um, let's see, do we actually need glue there? Let's see. I want to try to get the glue in there without it showing too much. Oh. Let's see. I also did a lot of like candy dishes and business card holders and stuff, not only out of seashells, but uh, old metal like license plates and stuff like that too. They sold really well. Okay, so this has to dry and while it's drying I'm going to prop some things up so they stick but I'm also going to glue it to this and it's going to be able to turn around. Pretty cool, right? So let's stick a couple of blobs on here. Glue. I pick this little plastic lazy Susan thing up at the Tap Plastics store when I was there today. I got a little felt foot stuck on there, but you know what? I'm going to just leave it on there. I am going to use some spare shells to prop things up so that <laughs> that one's not going to work. So that it gets glued the way I want. So that when it's as it's drying, things are really touching really firmly. Feels like it needs more glue over there. No, it just needs to dry better. Okay, so we're gonna stick this one over here. I'm gonna try not to have too many glue threads. I think if I put something right there, it'll stay really well. So 
I think a little small weights. Okay, we're gonna let that dry and we'll be back. Okay, it's not completely dry, but I think it's dry enough for me to put some paints in it. I have made 12 spaces and I have these Marie's watercolors I got on Wish. And they're just a student grade watercolor, but they, they're pretty good uh, for the price I paid. Um, I'm gonna use them all up. And this is, like I said, this is just like to sh really to make my desk look pretty. Um, th this is a paint tube squeezer thing to get like all the paint out of the tubes. There we go. So this crimps the tube, the tubes. I might actually save these and let them dry because that, how cool is that? Like, can you see that like in some kind of mixed media project? September 19th, I think. Anyway, you can't see them, but Bandit's in the back of the car. We are on our way to the VET. He needs a checkup. And I had to collect a poop sample. Anyway, nothing wrong with him. He's just, you know, his normal old cranky self. At least I don't think there's anything wrong. I guess we'll find out. All right, I'll be back. You see him back there? 
<laughs> Cranky Pants had his blood work and stuff done and he couldn't get back to the car fast enough. <laughs> All right, so we're headed home and I think I need more coffee. Hey guys, it's Wednesday, September 20th, I think. It's very late in the day. I think it's almost five o'clock. I don't think I've gotten a whole hell of a lot done today. <laughs> I had kind of a long chit chat this morning uh, with my dear friend Cindy Utter. For We probably talked way longer than we should have. We probably should have both been doing other things, but you know, I did get my workout in. I did get laundry started. I didn't get the dishes done. <laughs> Should have done at least one journal page in one of my many journals I'm trying to finish. Yeah, I haven't done that. I, I did get it gessoed. Um, and I might get it done before my husband comes home. I don't know. Ran a couple errands, got the mail. I don't know. I just feel like I could have done more. I got stuck watching Restoration Home on the computer. It's a BBC TV, or, well, I don't know if it's by BBC TV, it might be, but it's a UK TV show. I really like it, but, you know, I get obsessed with these things. Anyway, I don't know. The day's gone, gotten away from me. We'll see. I'm going to see if I can try to do at least a journal page, and I'll be hey back. Hey, guys. I just spent some time talking to my video camera and you guys on my telephone. Um... I filmed the vlogs with my telephone and um, the only problem with that was the telephone wasn't on <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know anyway so it's still Wednesday evening and I just um, finished this cute little mini journal page from um, some pieces and parts from my friend Mike Deacon and one of his new stencils I just bought. The video will be coming, the process video um, will be out soon on YouTube, but isn't that too, too cute? I took total license and inspiration with his work on a post, thank you postcard he sent me with my, my stencil order that I got from him, which Mike, I'm sorry I cut up. And um, yeah, totally cute page. I love it. Um, so it's still drying, it's still kind of wet. Um, but I have some paint left over, so I thought we would take the same stencil. This is one of Mike's stencils. His video, uh, his video. His website will be in the description below. I'll link it for you guys. I'm going to just try to use up some of this leftover paint. This is my, another one of my journals I'm trying to finish, the Small Delusions Journal. I have so many of these, you know, half started journals. Um, some of them only have two or three pages in them and then I don't do any more work in them. Some of them are almost done and I just, I don't know, I just didn't get them done. So you guys, if you guys are feeling like, you know, man, I never get any of my journal work done. You know, I start these journals, I never finish them and you don't, you feel like you're the only one that does that. Okay, stop feeling that way because you're totally not the only one that does that. <laughs> I do the same thing. Holy cow. We all do. Cindy Utter and I are both trying hard to finish our some of our backlog of journals. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm going to use the same uh, paint colors, obviously, that I used on the page I just did. And maybe some similar techniques because there were some things about that page I thought turned out really interesting. I've got some of these pages here that have already some paint on them and uh, this is one of the journals that I just wipe paint brushes off on and at some point I'll go in there to one of the pages and I'll start creating something from the paint that's on there, the wipe off paint that's on there. and. Um, I'll stencil on it or something like that. And so that's kind of what we're doing. I should do this piece of paper so I don't mess up the page that's underneath. And my goal is to just use up the paint.
And one of the things you can do with these stencils, you could go in with a baby wipe and do some reverse stenciling. I almost stuck that paintbrush in my mouth to hold it. I probably shouldn't do that since there's wet acrylic paint all over it. <laughs> you know, sometimes I just don't think. Um, and you can create a design in the wet paint that way, which is interesting. But you have to like do it right away, so you should have the baby wipe or whatever you're using out and do it before the paint dries. I like the stencil, Mike. <laughs> I like it a lot. Okay. Yeah, that's a good start to a background there. I like that. I have another one here. Let's see that we just did. So I'm gonna take my stencil brush in my water. My water cup is overflowing. And I just, I'm picking up the paint with the baby wipe. This is another like quick, easy, fast way to um, color your page quickly. And because you're doing just a thin coat with the baby wipe, it's gonna dry pretty quick. And you can really get it well blended and yeah, see, quick, easy. So that's it for this week, I think. I am going to clean up some mess and I guess try to do the dishes before my husband gets home, maybe? I don't know. All right, I will see you guys later. Don't forget to check out the video description. There'll be the link for Mike's um, Etsy shop, the link to my own Etsy shop if you want to buy any of my um, tools, supplies, artwork, embellishments, any of that. In fact, I've got to do another listing tonight and um, the link to my tip jar if you want to support the free content here on YouTube or the free content over in my Facebook group, art groups. There's also a link to a site that has all of my places on the internet linked in one big giant list. So <laughs> there's no more hiding from anybody. Uh, that's it. The most important thing is to go out and have a great day, everybody. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Have a great week. I don't know how many weeks I can keep this up because this is a lot of filming all the time, but I will do it as long as I can. All right, that's it. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.